merge map, concat map, and switch map. Oh my. If you look at Stack Overflow, it would seem that switch map is always the best practice. But that's not actually true. What the best practice is depends on what exactly you're trying to achieve. Let's talk more about that. So here again is our scenario, but in this case now, when we pick a name, we want to pick up the to-dos for that user. So we're going to declare a to-dos variable. We're going to assign it um, to our user selected action so we can react every time a user picks a different user. And we're going to use some kind of higher order mapping operator here, and we're going to get the associated to-dos. So should we use a concat map? Well, we can think of a concat map like a relay race. Emitted values are queued, the runners are all queued up and they're processed in order. The second or, uh, runner can never get ahead of that first runner and so on. So it's going to perform whatever mapping operator uh, operation we want and we have to wait for it to complete. When that first runner runs, that second runner can't start taking off until they get that baton until that uh, first runner completes, then they can go ahead and continue. And then it repeats, that second runner runs up, that third runner cannot start until that second runner is complete. So it retains that order, that first runner never gets ahead of that second runner. So let's look at uh, that example in more detail. So here we're gonna go back to our uh, to do's and we have our user selected action again and we're going to try out the concat map. Now in this case uh, we get into the office and we pick the second user from that list to get their to do's and then we realize that wasn't who we wanted to look at. So we pick the third one. So that's what these numbers mean. We pick the second user, then we pick the third one, then we realize that wasn't right either. We really wanted the to do's for the first one. So we've rapidly picked the second user, then the third user, then the first user. So what is this going to do if we use a concat map here? It's going to uh, request that second user. It's going to wait for that response to come back. Then it goes gets the third user's data and it waits for that response to come back, just like a relay race. Then finally, it gets that first uh, user and waits for that response to come back. So this is taking more time than it actually needs because we really only wanted that response for that first user. So in this particular scenario, concat map is not the best practice. When is concat map best practice? Use concat map when emissions are processed sequentially one at a time. So um, this is important whenever order matters. Examples are insert, update, and delete. You wouldn't want to do the update for a row before you did that insert. So you can use concat map in that example. You can think of merge map as something like the 800 meter. They all start just about the same time, but uh, and then that performs the mapping operator. But the emission order is not retained. Just because you got off the line first doesn't necessarily mean you're going to end first. So again, let's talk through our example where we pick the second user first, then the third user, then our first user, only this time using merge map. So what happens is as you pick each of these, it will immediately issue the HTTP GET request. Then they finish when they finish. So the third one has the smallest amount of data. So that one finishes first. Then the first one finishes because that has the next smaller number of tasks. Then finally, our second one finishes. So merge map is definitely not the best practice in this scenario because at the end, we've requested the data for the first user and that's what's showing up under the username. Um, but the to-dos are for the second user. So we have a mismatch in the data that our app is going to be showing us in this case. So again, merge map is not the best practice in this particular scenario. We instead want to use merge map when emissions, when we want the emissions to be processed concurrently because that's more performant, but the order doesn't matter. So for example, retrieving related data when the criteria isn't going to be changing on you. 
Uh, the third one was switch map. And you can think of this as kind of changing your mind. So the coach says, okay, we're going to start this runner. No, this one. No, this one. But only one runner actually does the running. So switch map is the same uh, way. It will uh, stop processing of any prior emitted value and then switches to that new emitted value. And then it performs the mapping operation. And of course it repeats. So going back to our same scenario where I've picked user two, then three, then one, let's see what happens when switch map uh, is used. So we start um, by picking that second one. It goes to get it. As soon as I pick the third, it cancels that second one. Then it goes to get the third one. As soon as I pick one, it cancels the third one and it starts to get the first one. The only one that completes, the only response that I get back is the one for the last one I picked, which is that, that first user. So in this case, switch map is the best practice. Use switch map whenever only the latest emission matters. So for example, retrieving based on a user action. It's also really great for type ahead functionality. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.